In the last video I mentioned, I would tell you how learning algorithms almost destroyed my marriage. That's probably a little extreme, but uh, let's put a little ruffles into my marriage here. Look at this room. Okay, this is part of my house here. I have this room here, and the kitchen's over here, and on Saturdays we like to clean our house, and so we like to vacuum in here, and then we like to vacuum and mop in here. And for the first while when we lived in this house, it was kind of a pain because all right, we'd vacuum in here, and then, oh, we got to move all the chairs and the stools over here, and then we got to vacuum and mop over there, and so I, I didn't like this. Oh, chairs over here, chairs over there, stools. Da, da, da. It's just a pain, okay. And people like me who have multiple kids, we have multiple vacuums. I would like to optimize this a little bit. What's the cost of this algorithm? We'll talk a lot about costs of algorithms in future videos. But think about it. I gotta, I gotta physically move every chair over here one by one. And when we see this picture, kind of just pop, pop, pop. It's not that easy, all right? You got to right, grab this chair, move it all the way here, and grab this chair, move it all the way here. And it's this long, drawn-out process. And you kind of stack the chairs and, and the stools, a lot of trips. Maybe I'll grab more than one chair. It's, it's expensive, okay? It, it would take a lot of time. I'm a very impatient person, and it took a lot of space, right? Remember, we're going to analyze these algorithms in time and space, I forgot the space part in the last video, but I made up for it when I was doing the editing. Okay, what's the space complexity? Well, it's taking up two rooms, all right? To get both of these rooms clean, I have to move all the furniture between the two rooms. And what's the time complexity? Well, I gotta move this chair all the way over there because I'm gonna put another chair all the way over here. And then the next chair, I'll go in front of that chair. You can see uh, when I line this up, that, yeah, I put three chairs all the way down here so I can get the next three chairs in tight. I don't put these three chairs in first and then these three chairs in next because otherwise I'd have to go around these chairs. And, and so there's a time cost and a space cost. And it drove me nuts because this is the process we would do all the time. I'd say, honey, that's stupid. Now telling your significant other that the way we've been doing things is just stupid is not a good way of going about it, especially... If it was her idea, and I can't remember if it was originally her idea or my idea. Knowing us, it was probably my idea uh, to do that. I said, that's dumb. We'll talk about those people skills later. Right? <laughs> don't, don't go telling anyone their ideas are dumb. That's just that, that's a bad idea. That's a really dumb idea, actually. <laughs> See the irony in that? That's kind of weird. Um, I said, that, that's just less optimal. Okay, um, why don't we just, hey. We could stack all the chairs and stack all the stools up high. And we have two vacuums. We have multiple kids. We could have one kid vacuuming in here, another kid vacuuming in there. At the same time, parallelism. That's just epic. And then I don't have to do all that walking no more. Okay, walk the chair over here, walk the chair over there. I can just, ooh, chair up, chair up, chair up, chair up. And uh, the space complexity, it, it doesn't take up as much space. And the time, less time to put the chairs up and ow. Oh, I'm so awesome. Aren't we glad I went and got a degree in computer science? <laughs> My degree may pay the bills, but she's still in charge of the house. So just remember that, gentlemen. Anyway, uh, she pointed out to me also, if you wouldn't set up the camera and take pictures while you're doing the work, then that would actually be more optimal because you're not wasting time taking pictures. Okay. You got me. But the pictures are for the YouTube channel, honey. Come on. This, this is cool. Of course, you can't take time to set up a camera and not take pictures of yourself as a ninja. That's super critical. <laughs> I hate selfies. Anyway. All right. Anyway, getting back to the marriage thing. I got this email from my wife uh, somewhere early on in our marriage. And th this is a turning point for our marriage. It says, hey, I'm going to stop at Walmart for the household stuff then Home Depot for your tools, Costco for the big stuff, and then I'll end at Lisa's to get lunch. Does that sound like a good algorithm or whatever you call it? <laughs> Peoples, you know you've hit an epic time in your relationship with your significant other when they can use the word algorithm in an email to you and it mostly makes sense, okay? She actually solved the traveling salesman problem here. We'll look at traveling salesman later in this playlist. But look, she's going to Walmart and Home Depot. And yes, it was the most optimal route. It would take the shortest amount of time. She gets her lunch time at Lisa's. 
Loving it good. I love the way she spelled algorithm here. Though she, you can tell she just kind of guessed. Algorithm. She's got the, the rhythm thing going on. I'm going to put up our definition of algorithm right here. So, so don't blink. I'm just type it real quick. Here we go. Sequence of explicit, clear instructions in a well-defined language. Are these explicit and clear, and are they in a well-defined language? The language I'm obviously using with my wife here is English. Okay, she's going to stop at Walmart, Home Depot, Costco. Excellent. It's, it's a well-defined language. She's saying exactly where she's going, the exact steps. Perfect, all right? Takes input and produces output. The input to this algorithm is my wife, our vehicle, and some money, right? And then out pops some food for me, some tools I needed for the current project, and probably more food from Costco. Yeah, 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 you get, you get the idea. Um, executes in a finite amount of space and time. By the way, uh, these places are rather close to our house, and, and long story short, She's going to get home in time. It's not going to take up three, three or four days, and she's going to end up sleeping in the car in a parking lot. Now, if she wanted to drive to New York, Costco, uh, that's not going to execute in a – well, it would execute in a finite amount of space and time. A lot more space than is necessary, a lot more time than is necessary. She's not going to get stuck in an infinite loop, but it won't be the ideal algorithm. Okay, I hope that – Makes sense. It's still a finite amount of space and time. Even if she drives to New York, I'm based in Salt Lake. It'd take a long time, actually. It'd take a lot more resources, too, a lot more gas and probably a hotel stay, uh, a few hotel stays. But but she's not going to get stuck in this endless sequence of instructions where, oh, Costco, Walmart, Costco, Walmart, Costco, Walmart, Costco, Walmart. If you've ever written a program that's hung, chances are you're stuck in a loop. Yeah, you've been there, done that, probably. Uh, is the algorithm correct? Yes, these were all the errands that we needed executed that day. So, so this is a very basic algorithm example, but it is an algorithm, all right? Just like cleaning the house here. Well, we're done with my ninja picture there, but cleaning the house here. You know, it's, it's explicit defined steps here. Now we say, okay, we have the chairs here. Move all the chairs up on the table, stools up on the bar, vacuum, vacuum, mop, and then put them back down. And we're good to go. So there you go. Basic algorithm example. Uh, in the next video, we're going to get our Java going. Video after that, we're going to write a basic search algorithm, analyze the complexity from there, so on and so forth. Let's continue working on this and become awesome because we're going to get there for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're playing along. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying. But you're mad at me. Like, I don't know. I just did something stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I should be smiling. <laughs> the so first time hurry. was perfect. Was... Well, you should have gotten it then. I thought I was standing over there. I told you that I'm not good at this because I get all jittery and nervous. Come on, pretty girl. <laughs>